Thanks, Dave. And that the whole week of vacation thing? Yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> it turned into a day, like Friday. <laughs> uh, thanks for the opportunity to be here. This really is uh, it, its a grand opening. I mean, this is just a tremendous, tremendous building. I, I've done a lot of ribbon cuttings and, and a lot of um, projects all over the state. And, and by far, this is the best looking terminal building that I've seen and, and frankly, one of the best facilities for transportation related in the state of Michigan. Uh, my hat's off to, to uh, you, Dave, the county, and uh, the team that put all this together. It's just absolutely fabulous. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to introduce some of my staff that's here along with a couple of the Air Knox commissioners. So um, Mike Trout is our executive administrator of the Office of Aeronautics. Uh, Mark Noel, who is the engineering section manager. Carol Aldrich is the project management uh, unit supervisor, wherever Carol is. Uh, Betsy Steidel is the program unit manager. Molly Lamoureau and, and Chip Krause. There's Molly in the back. Um, and then uh, three members of the Air Knox Commission uh, that are here. One of our newest members, Dave Anderveen. Uh, it's it's uh, it's great what, what kind of pull he can get. He said, hey, you know, I think we need to have a couple commissioners at this opening. Uh, Russ Cavalluna, uh, there's Russ right there, thanks for coming Russ, and then Pete Camerini was supposed to be here as well, and I haven't seen him yet, uh, but he'll probably show up here soon. You know, transportation investments like this create jobs and improve the quality of life for Michigan residents as well as strengthen the state's economy. Oakland County International Airport is the second busiest airport in Michigan, second only to Detroit Metro Wayne County Airport. It's the world's 12th busiest general aviation airport, serving more than a half a million passengers in nearly every Fortune 500 company. More than 800 aircraft are based at the airport, representing more than 150 companies, many with several planes and with value in excess of $200 million. As Oakland County expands into international business, it's important to make the first great impression right here at the airport of our great state. And, and as I was talking before with, uh, with Mr. Patterson, this is an absolutely wonderful first impression for the state of Michigan. The U.S. Customs Service will be available here from 7 a.m. till 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and on call all the other times. This service is an important convenience that saves processing time for international travelers and for goods. As You're promised, I'm interrupting good. you. <laughs> here they come. Look to the east, if you would. To the right. Don't you just love it? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the sight and sound of freedom. And uh, unless you think they missed the runway, th those are two F six United States F-16 fighter jets that uh, are flown by a couple of America's finals, their finest. Now for the second half of Kurt's speech. <laughs> I thought you were coming up telling me, no, I'm going to say that. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Uh, if any, if it's, to be interrupted by anything, uh, uh, that's a pleasure to see, uh, to see that, uh, especially fully loaded, ready to go. You know? So the airport's growth uh, is expected to continue to improve with the lengthening of the main runway uh, extension that can now accommodate 727 commercial jets. Planes can now reach the West Coast and Mexico and Europe and Asia all without refueling. All of these destinations are considered areas of future economic growth for Oakland County and for the state of Michigan. These features and services contribute to turning the airport into an economic engine. The Oakland International Airport is estimated to have $175 million economic impact on the region. Now, aviation is important to the global economy and to trade. In fact, aviation contributes $11 billion annually to Michigan's economy. Aviation carries 1 billion pounds of air cargo every year and carries 50 million passengers annually. Aviation is vital to Michigan's economy and our quality of life helping us to attract and retain industry, deliver packages overnight, play an important role in law enforcement and assist in air ambulances, agriculture, and so much more. It plays an important role in our state's overall transportation network, 
and means positive economic benefits for your community and the state of Michigan. And all the aviation enthusiasts will clearly agree when I say that a mile of highway takes you a mile, but a mile of a runway takes you to the world. Your community should be extremely proud and extremely fortunate to have this state-of-the-art, state cost-effective and efficient terminal right here in your backyard. From the staff of the Michigan Department of Transportation and the state of Michigan, I want to congratulate you on your new eco-friendly terminal, the truly first green terminal building in the state of Michigan. Thank you very much.